Hello. Well, I today is November 7, 2020, and I show you earlier the front yard with all the leaves, and I clean it up. But as I was cleaning, the good thing is it was not windy when I started, but now it's a little bit windy, and I have leaves on the ground like if I didn't do anything. So let's take a look at it, and I'll show you what I did with the leaves that I took. So you can see that I have leaves again on the ground, even though I clean up. So I clean up the, the side work and that grassy area as well. I didn't do the back, but Very much clean the front so that it's presentable and that's the side of the front garden I have grass I have leaves against the fence I'm fine with that because I have flowers so those are pretty much molted and I have this alley here that I clean up but my tree is still dropping leaves so I'm still having leaves there and the side of the building, I move leaves away from the building to my onion bed here. And that's pretty much it. I didn't do the back, but... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let me see. Uh, let me see. Let me see. And as you can see, I didn't do anything at the back. I'm going to get the kids out so that they can play. And since it's not cold, I'll be able to see what we can do here at the back. But the front yard was important because that's the front of the house. So I want it to be. And you can see that that's the onion bed that I showed you earlier, and I put the leaves on them as well. Yeah, stupid bit there. So, so uh, that's this. Yeah, so. Ce qui est tombé, en, qui est tombé du haut, qui a poussé ensemble. Est-ce qu'il y a beaucoup de petits de... Beaucoup de oignons en bas. C'est fini. Qu'est-ce que ça veut dire Un. C'est parti, je crois. Oui. Yeah. Attends, oh. enlève le plus jeune. Quand ça tombe du haut, mm. les choses qui poussent en haut, mm. quand ça tombe, mm. ça fait un. Mm. Je ne pense pas que ah, ça les, Ce qui est petit petit en haut là, oui. quand ça tombe, oui. ça pousse, ça, ça donne un comme ça. Oui. Ça peut être plus gros que ça. Oui. Ça, si ça reste plusieurs années, ça. Continue pas grand. Ah, pas on on sème ça aussi, non? Oui. Mais si je veux planter ça chez moi maintenant, c'est ça ou bien c'est les petits petits que je vais planter? Normalement, c'est les petits petits. Mais les deux pousses. Quand on plante les deux. Ça, ça, ça maintenant, on ne peut pas garder. Je n'aime pas dire qu'on qu garde. À ça peut rester pour quelques semaines. Et ça va se gâter. Yeah. Non, c est, c est ton, tout oignon, on les sèche au soleil. Cet oignon n'est pas bon pour garder. Ça, okay. ça, ça préserve mieux dans la terre. Ah, ah. C'est pour cela que tu mets ça dans la terre. 
c'est pour cela que je ne dis pas. D'ailleurs, c'est, c'est pérennial. C'est quelque chose... La, les oignons que vous mangez, c'est annuel. Mm-hmm. En fait, c'est bayano. Ça fait... Ça pousse. Si ça reste, l'année prochaine, ça va faire des fleurs. Ce que vous mangez normalement. Mm-hmm. Ceci, c'est pérennial. Ça reste dans la terre pendant des années. Mm-hmm. C'est un oignon quand on déterre, on sèche. Ça ne peut pas faire tout l'hiver à l'intérieur. Ça, Donc, c'est il faut mettre ça, ça sous la terre. Yeah, ça, parce que c'est quelque chose qui reste pendant des années sous la terre. Donc, mm-hmm. quand c'est là-bas, ça, rien ne va lui arriver. Mais tu ne peux pas... Bon, tu, tu ne peux pas déterrer en hiver quand il y a l'hiver, quand il y a la neige. Mm-hmm. Bon, moi, je ne déterre pas parce que un produit un. Donc, moi, mm-hmm. je mange les feuilles, je mange les petits oignons aussi, mmh, mmh. mais je ne mange pas ce qui est en bas. Mmh. Parce que c'est ça qui fait les petits oignons, puis je plante les petits oignons, puis je peux manger ça. Mais, yeah. mmh. mais on peut euh, planter les deux. Tu n'as pas enlevé les fruits dans cette année. Non. Ça va revenir l'année prochaine. Oui. Tu peux aussi les Non, ça nous enlever les feuilles. Yeah, and, and you can't, I was just talking with my parents earlier about the Egyptian onion. So sorry about the interruption. So now here, that's the front. I have the onion, my herb garden here. And I show you prior to mulching. And now I put the leaves. So I rake leaves from the side of the building and just have it. And I have some um, stones that I put all around it and kids just like to walk on them so I have stone here but I don't know if you get to see it and then I have the onions here so I'm mulch it so that's how I'm putting my garden to sleep in fall by mulching with fall leaves so we have this area fully mulch and let's get into the front garden here And you can see that I didn't mulch here, but the leaves are just falling down here. That's the front, and I have a big garden at the front. So one area I would love to mulch would be uh, my strawberries here, but I have seen like my front yard tree is going to mulch it for me. So there is an onion bed here has sorrows and I mulch it as well. So you can see the leaves that I pour on it and that's just right before the sidewalk. But I have fence all around my garden and I just dump a lot of leaves here to protect my onions and my sorrows here. So let's go back to the back where I put most of the um, the, and this is sage and I would love to mulch here as well I just don't know if I will remember to come back to the front yard to do that because now I'm going to walk at the back most of the leaves might just go in the garden at the back so my garden is is, is, is a, a big garden so I don't even find enough leaves from my property to mulch. And mulching with leaves is just a free resource. You are just, you are going to clean your property anyway. So why not mulching for free? Save your money. Vous n'avez pas besoin de faire ça. Et surtout, ne ramassez pas parce que je suis en train de verser ça à des endroits spécifiques. So. And here I have um, turnips green and I didn't plant turnips this year but they came back I will yeah they came back sometimes in summer and they grow plenty here I have a plant here last um, in spring that went to flower 
and a lady seeds it came from back from last year says see this year and the seeds fell on the ground so sometimes in early fall they start growing in the pathway and some on the bed so i make sure i put leaves around them and i have uh, harvested some of the leaves already so i mulched and i pretty much mulch this bed so i grow my vegetables right on at the ground level but i use three branches from the tree around the property to just limit the garden area so i have you know those um, turnips green here as well and i mulch them i have sorrel here growing and i mulch it as well so that is the turnips green so i'm mulching them since they are biannual i'm mulching them so that they can come back their chances of coming back next spring and set seed to be high to L. Yeah. so i mulch them in a faut pas ramasser uh -huh. je suis en train de verser dans le jardin à des endroits spécifiques il faut pas ramasser uh, okay so i mulch my time i have wild time here that's wild time and i put my food I mean, that's a ground cover but i put some leaves on them and here i have a blueberry you can see the leaves so i put some leaves in here it has thistle i just push it down to mulch with thistle and i have leaves on top of it so i have my onions here and strawberries i mulch them i have sorrel here that's a green that i use a lot it's pretty much my alternative um, version of lettuce and spinach so i use sorrel a lot and this year some of them didn't do well because i have a banner in the garden i don't know if banner is bothering them or not so i pull leaves around them i have one here and i have one here so pretty much mulch them properly and i have black urine here i mulch pretty much this area i still have sorrel here mulched and i have a lot of strawberries in this bed so on this in this area and i'm mulching so i have another sorrel there but pretty much from here you can see that <coughs> well mulched but i still have strawberries in that side of the garden that i have now mulched i have wild blueberry here somewhere couldn't locate it so i just mulch this side it has strawberries you can see my strawberries here it'll be great to mulch them as well so that's that and what i do in fall when i'm before i start mulching i'll walk around to see to remember what in summer what place in summer didn't look okay that the ground around was dry so that way in fall i'll put leaves around it so i have arugula here that silver tar arugula a perennial one and did well this year so you can see that i put a lot of leaves around it here and put my this bed put leaves on the bed i have um that's in the spice there uh, if i can remember the name okay well i cannot remember it but the spice is in the ground that's the roots oh, i don't know how i forgot it again but that's something i harvest in fall but i don't know if i'll do this year i have another arugula here doing very well and i mulch all around it lift it and put mulch around it that scale here came back from last year now probably not last year but it grew from a seed that i didn't plant this year so 
I let my tail go to seed. They are buying also. I want that to be able to come back next year. So what I did is I put a bunch of leaves around it. Kale is cold season, so uh, crop, and it's doing well now that it's cold. But my drawback with cold, uh, kale is, if sometimes when you leave the leaves, you will see warm underneath it. Like, I um, don't know how that warm is called. Yeah, it does have a type of warm that bothers it. Is um, well, I don't remember. So. And I don't like that about that green. Other than that, that's a very healthy green to eat. And I like to let it go to seeds year after year. So when that came back, it did well. And I have some for salad. And I mulch it well so that it can come back next year and set seeds. So here is our um, asparagus. The uh, crown was showing up. So I put a good amount of leaves here. One bucket full of green leaves here to mulch it so let's continue and this area has a lot of onion and strawberries so that'll be a good area to mulch as well i just don't know if i'll have enough leaf for that and here is another asparagus and you can see the fern here so it did grow those tall ferns here and I pretty much mulch it heavily with leaves as well so those are a very specific plants in the garden that I really want to mulch I have the chance to harvest all leaves so here I have uh, turnips growing again and they are, they are growing this year and I make sure I cover them so that some of them if not all can come back or possibly all of them can come back next year and say see the thing is um, turnips green I think they should go weeks when you don't have a lot for them to cross pollinate so I have a bunch of them here and I just make sure I don't cover the whole plant, but I pull leaves well underneath them. Because they are cold season, they are still doing growing well, even though it's cold outside. So I don't want to smuggle it with the leaves. So I have them here and there, and they are mulch. So that's how I use the leaves that I harvest it from the front. And I still have plenty to harvest from the back. And I have my um, strawberry patch here and I don't know what is going on here but it seems like some of the trees are destroyed yeah it's very interesting but I have raspberry patch here does not look like a patch it seems like something just step on the plants you know do you see this it looks more like deer type of things but deer cannot get in the garden because of the way I fence it fence within fence but I do know that we have a bunny here I don't know if bunny is doing something but that would be another area to mulch anyway um, those raspberries grow from the ground so the crown the roots will grow back in spring it'll be gray in fact it's kind of wide open easy to mulch so we'll see if i'll be able to mulch this area but that's how i use free mulch from my property to mulch our garden without spending money on mulch and re without spending money on water because i don't water the garden and it produces a healthy vegetable for us allowing us now to buy vegetables from the store and keeping our grocery budget on the low side in addition by growing perennials i don't have to be in the garden that much i have a business to run i'm full-time employer and that's how i manage my garden by growing vegetables that can grow on their own without my input that much and it works great for us thank you so much for watching i'm 
Afia the Ojune Libreman, creators of Libreman Consulting LLC YouTube channel, owners of Lena Soap. And our website is lenasoap.com. That's our blog. We have our um, natural products store, ninasoap.com, and our custom apparel store, liberlabel.com. So those three growing on the property, they have long roots. They pull nutrients from the ground. So it makes sense to me to return those leaves back to the ground by mulching my garden with it so that those nutrients in the leaves breaks down, the leaves breaks down, the nutrients return back to the ground and feed the ground. So yeah, it's about making sure everything is recycled and the, the trees pull nutrients from the ground over time is going to make the ground um, poor of those nutrients. So by letting the leaves that fell in the ground, broken down in the ground, that's a compost in one spot, you know, and it breaks down and returns the nutrients in the leaves back to the ground. I don't need to pay somebody to hold those leaves after I rake them off of my property. I can just let them mulch my garden. I don't have to water the garden because it's moist under the leaves. The leaves break down and nourish the plant. So that's how I grow our vegetables and make sure I make good use of the natural resources that I have on the property. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, you all that subscribe to our channel. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for watching our video. Stay safe.